Hey guys, it's time. I was teasing this video last night, and well, here it is. And oh, oh, hey SDA, long time no see. I mean, oh, oh, do you know what? That little beady thing, you know, the thing on your hair on your right hand side, it's really nice, it really accentuates the hair and the colour. You should keep it, it's really nice. So, uh, yeah, uh, this is uh, one of her clicks of videos on Sargon, her and Ranty Monkey did streams on it and now she's done her own video on it and Ranty Monkey did a video on that and uh, yeah, Herald you listed a response to Ranty Monkey and forgot that a better title would be Shock the Monkey, not Spanking the Monkey because Shock the Monkey is a Peter Gabriel song and very apt but you know what, that's okay because if I ever do respond to his video, which I doubt it if I'm going to respond to this one I would definitely use that title. TM, guys. I trademarked that title. Anyway, so, uh, where were we, SDA? Where were we? Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Some Dumb American, and let's talk about Sargon. Yay! Riveting. Yeah, I know, you're already mad, but if you're gonna call me names in the comments, just come up with something more creative than, oh, you named yourself correctly. If you're gonna be- You're looking very beautiful today mean be entertaining in case you're not aware of what happened sargon got into a twitter spat with christy winters and chrissyosity in which chris and well the whole click as well they were all after him as per usual chrissyosity said some mean shit that technically goes against twitter's terms of service so he reported her and she got a 12-hour ban and sargon's defense is that technically what she did was against the terms of service which it is and that and she admitted it he's feeding her her own medicine which is debatable and it's not debatable it really is feeding them their own medicine because these are the people who support these rules and will usually although not flag for tos violations they tend to actually false flag people who don't break the tos but yeah essentially feeding them their own medicine and although christiosity herself didn't actually complain because she to her credit, actually took it very well. It's like, you know what? Yeah, I did break the terms of service. It was more Chrissyosity, Michael Rollins, Tim Blake, all those other people who decided to spurg out about it. Because you know why? They're hypocrites. They don't like their own rules being used against them because that is an attack on their ideological authority. But uh, you know what? Apparently it's debatable that he was giving them their own medicine. I mean, what could it, what could the other option possibly be? What could the other reason for Sargon uh, doing that to Christiosity possibly be? I mean, it's not like they've been constantly haranguing him for years now, every day. And then there's other SGWs joining in as well outside of that clique. I mean, it's debatable, apparently. And that he wants the rules to be applied evenly. No word yet on how many anti-SJWs he's reported for breaking Twitter's rules. Well, why don't you go and ask him? And by the way, he's always come out in favour of actually reporting anybody who harasses anybody, especially SJWs. He has on record said that he would like to be able to find the people who are actually legitimately harassing Anita Sarkeesian and other people. And indeed, he was all for Gamergate policing themselves to make sure that anybody who was caught harassing was caught caught and dealt with and flagged. V himself has admitted that he would do that and that's how Gamergate managed to essentially keep on point. And besides, maybe, just maybe Sargon hasn't come across this yet and so hasn't flagged anybody yet. Maybe anti shws are very well behaved, all things considered. I'm not saying that we don't go around harassing people but it seems to me that if he can't see it, he can't flag it. And maybe you should point him in that direction if you see anybody harassing anybody. Just there. Uh, just saying. And I don't think he's going to report any of them because this isn't about a culture war. This isn't about rules. This was just petty. Before we... And you can read his mind. You can definitely discern from one reporting that he's done that he's not going to report any anti-SJW or any anti-feminist. Right, okay, I didn't know you had psychic powers, SDA. I guess that's a new thing I found out about you. I better watch myself, because you can read my mind. 
Before we get into the nitty gritty of what this says about Sargon's stance of free speech, let's just get something out of the way. Sargon has over 230,000 followers on Twitter. I can't even imagine what that's like or how many notifications he gets in a day. And yet, he doesn't miss an inflammatory tweet from Christy Winters or Christiosity or Tim and the gang. Ever. So, first of all, Sargon, you're looking for it and you know it. Secondly, he's looking for it? Did you just victim blame? Did you just say he's asking for it? I mean, you know, there are certain people that he will respond to more than others. I do agree. But you do realize that these people are constantly doing it all the time. And they're not the only ones. There's Tom Bloke, who's constantly taking him out of context, quoting him. There was Spinosaurus Kim before he nuked everything, who's doing the exact same thing. As you said, you, we can't possibly imagine the shit he goes through. So I guess there was going to be a point in time where he was eventually going to go, fuck it, let's report these sons of bitches. They'd do the same thing to me if I did the exact same thing. And lo and behold, he did. And I don't see what's so petty about that. In fact, I see this is a long time coming, and I think more people should actually report this shit. If you're constantly, constantly getting harassed by people, constantly sending you dumb messages, retarded statements, and threats, because Chris Hossett, he did threat him, threaten him. She was threatening to harass him to tell him how much of a piece of shit he was every single day. That is a very much a direct TOS violation, but... Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Secondly, if you don't like what somebody's saying about you or to you on Twitter or any other social media platform, you can easily block them or mute them, which is a way of getting them away from you without removing their platform in which to speak. She was suspended for 12 hours. And by the way, considering this is Twitter's terms of service, that's her own fault. That's her own fault. This isn't the First Amendment. Nobody's taking away her First Amendment rights. She herself put her in a position where she removed her own p platform. She got reported. Christiosity has only herself to blame. Sargon did what Twitter wants everybody to do. And yeah, he has admitted he could easily block them. He could easily meet them. But why not report them for actual TOS violations? What's so wrong with that? Is it a authoritarianism to use a, a button that we, anybody can use and even then blocking them's not necessarily going to stop them from making a uh, certain alt account to carry on the shit from there they can easily do that so muting and blocking not always going to work it depends how these people are in a way uh, willing to go the extra mile if they're going to stop when he blocks them, they'll stop. If they want to continue it, they'll make an alt account. So again, they're not surefire ways. And neither is reporting. Reporting isn't a surefire way. And to me, that's a last resort. And I think, ultimately, that was the final straw that brought the camels back. Because he has blocked a few of them before. Like, I think he blocked Tim. So it's not like he doesn't mute and block. Which is totally fine. I'm completely okay with people blocking other people, as many people as they want. I think it's silly on the level of Steve Shives, but he has every right to do that. And I would never say that he has to be talked out if he doesn't want to. But again, at Sargon's level, with the volume of tweets and notifications he's probably getting every day, I cannot imagine that this just all happens to cross his timeline every single time it happens. Well, you see, another thing I've got to add is this isn't a free speech issue, though, is it? This is, again, about holding them to their own rules. If free speech was an issue, wouldn't that be him removing their First Amendment rights, which he can't do? Like, actually being able to stop them and removing their platform, which, by the way, she was only temporarily suspended for 12 hours. In fact, I don't know what the actual punishment was. Was she just shadow banned for 12 hours so like i've been reported a few times on twitter and usually i just get shadow banned so whenever i post something only my followers can see it and nobody else did that happen or was she genuinely unable to post for 12 hours i don't know nobody's actually said what the punishment was looking for bullshit you're looking for what happens to cross his timeline every single time it happens. 
bullshit. You're looking for it. You want this conflict. If so um, sorry, but that's a lie. He wasn't looking for anything. He was talking to Ian Miles Chung, and then Christy Winters, out of nowhere, provokes him and ends up talking about Russian Deadpool and Heather Unable. Like, that's what happened. He did not seek them out. He was not looking for anything. He was talking to Ian Miles Chong. Christy Winters comes in. He responds with an inflammatory statement of his own because he doesn't give a shit about their feelings. She got butt hurt and sent her friends to back her up. And then Christy City said what she said. That's what happened. You're being dishonest about what actually happened. He wasn't looking for anything. He was trying to have a chat with Ian Miles Chong. So, yeah, uh... In order for your whole argument to work, he must be going out there searching for drama to report people, which he doesn't. So, yeah. SDA, at least be a little bit honest about what's going on. Do you even know what happened? You want this conflict. If Sargon doesn't engage with these people, then there is no conflict and there is no issue. The issue comes from the way that he's reacting to words on a screen. And he basically snapped and decided to report somebody for saying words and for threatening harassment. Har you know, people are complaining about him reporting people, but since when was there this big universal rule that you don't report people? Like... Why? I was arguing with Dolphin Radio the other day, and he said that you shouldn't report to an authority because that's authoritarianism. And I'm getting that same vibe from you, SDA. You seem to be implying that because he reported somebody, he's being authoritarian, and therefore he's removing their platform, and he's against free speech, which is not the case, because when they're actually harassing you, which you admitted, that's what she did, he has every right to not only block on mute, as you said before, but also report them. Why not? You would report somebody who burgled you. You'd report somebody who assaulted you. That's not authoritarian. But apparently, no. anti SUWs are not supposed to report people. We're not supposed to stick by the rules of the game and then hold up these idiots to their own rules and watch them hypocritically complain about said rules. No. We're not supposed to do any of that. Right, okay. Since when? Who said that? I don't like this whole, if you were this, you must be that. And if you were this, you must do that. Because that's what I'm getting. And that is wrong. That's very tribalistic almost. Threatening harassment. Harassment that could easily be stopped completely with the block button. Again, as I mentioned before, not necessarily. Considering that these people are obsessed with him, and a few of them probably do have alt accounts somewhere, ready to use in case they do get blocked so they can keep an eye on what he's saying and potentially even talk to him. Yeah, it's not always going to work. It depends on the person, doesn't it? How willing they are to troll you, how willing they are to harass you, how willing they are to talk to you, things like that. People use alt accounts to talk to Steve Shives and to see what he's doing because he blocks them. So it's not a surefire way of stopping everything 100%. Blocking, in my opinion, is probably the best option in terms of stopping it on if because most people once they're blocked they won't do anything but again reporting is sometimes the last resort and again there's nothing actually immoral about reporting somebody unless it's a false report which this wasn't so again why are you complaining Lock button and culture war or not i'm going to apply the same standard to sargon that i would apply to any obnoxious feminist i don't think you are I don't think you are whatsoever because you're not holding them to their own rules. You seem to be suggesting that, yeah, we should follow the rules, but they don't. Because we shouldn't report people because reasons. Because we're anti-SUWs. We don't do that. That's removing platforms. Yeah, it's totally okay for them uh, to get suspended on Twitter and then make an alt account. But then when my friend Kerulius does the exact same thing, they report him and he gets terminated yet again. Or they report somebody, whether it be a TOS violation or not, and it's okay, that's just what they do. But Sargon does a legitimate report, and now he's getting shit for it. <laughs> I don't know. I find that a very odd way of thinking, SDA. Noxious feminist. If you don't like what somebody's saying, you can either listen and take in the criticism, 
or you can mute them or block them. But you don't have the right to take away their freedom of speech. And I know that she- You not take away her freedom of speech. She got herself in trouble. This is not a free speech issue. This is about holding them to their own standards. And Chris Yossi even admitted she deserved it. She admitted that, yeah, that's what I did. I deserved that. It's the others who are complaining and twisting this into a free speech issue. And now you're doing the exact same thing. He's not removing her right to free speech. She still has her First Amendment. Sargon still has his own free speech, what we have left in the UK. He's not doing that. She can easily go and create a new profile, even though that's against the Twitter terms of service, and just post from there. Again, this is about holding them to her own standards. And to Chrissy's credit, she held to her own standards. And I know that she broke the terms of service, but Sargon, along with myself and many others, have long opposed the terms of service that gets people banned off Twitter just for the things that they say. And if you're okay with Twitter doing it to other people, then you're okay with them doing it to you. And I get it, it's fun to rub their nose in it every once in a while. I hate Tim, Christy Winters, and Chrissyosity as much as the next internet commentator, but I fundamentally disagree with what Sargon did, no matter what his motivations were. Be his motivation was not to remove her free speech. It was to hold her to the, her own standards, to the whole group's standards. And I think he did exactly what he was planning to do with that. He exposed them for the hypocrites that they are and uh, sadly the fact of the matter is this is the rules in which we have to engage with on twitter whether we like it or not we're not going to change it anytime soon because at the moment the SGWs run the show and one good way of making it change is to make them all complain about how oh it's not fair we're getting banned because of our own rules forcing tw jack and maybe a few of the others on the security council to change it which might actually be in our benefit. Did you not think about that? Maybe that's another reason why he did it. And also because she was genuinely threatening him. And he's going to do the same thing again. And I reckon he would do it to an anti-SUW because he never said he wouldn't. Because at the end of the day, if you're for freedom of speech, then you're for freedom of speech. No matter what mood you're in, no matter what they've said to tick you off, no matter... Twitter's a private company. And what they consider to be the rules on what you can and cannot say is what their rules are going to be. They can do that, that. They're a private company. And this is the rules of the game. We're not talking about the meat world in terms of free speech. And if, for example, Sargon was at a protest and he silenced her in that way, say, for example, I don't know, getting the police on her to remove her from the situation or perhaps even doing something else along those lines that feminists like to do. Yeah, I would agree with you, but he didn't do that, did he? But I, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like we're just repeating ourselves now. Tick you off, no matter what tactics they use, you don't lower yourself to somebody else's standard of behavior. You stick by your principles. And if well, you see, they don't tend to flag people for actual violations. They tend to actually false flag people. This is their MO. Or they do nothing but complain. And they are the ones who tend not to report themselves as I mentioned before with Tim. He should have been reported for making a new account when he got terminated, but he didn't because they're tribalists. In what way is he using their behaviour? Why is he? How is he lowering himself to their behaviour? What actually is he doing? And nobody has ever dictated to any other anti-SGW what an anti is meant to be and what they're supposed to do. There is no rule book. There is no rule book that says we cannot report a, an offense, a tweet that has broke the terms of service. There is no rule for that, and this uh, tribalist way of thinking is, you know, really giving Skeptic Plus a bit of fucking ammo, if I do say so myself. And if his principles don't line up with my principles on free speech, that's okay. I just disagree with it, and I disagree with the actions that he took. Again, it's not a free speech issue. Having said all that, I still like Sargon. I'm still going to watch his content. I don't think he's a horrible person. I just fundamentally disagree with the actions that he took against Chrissyosity. But hey, I'm just some dumb American, so let me know what you guys think. Yeah, 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 whatever. Fuck off. Look, at the end of the day, this is not a free speech issue. This is actually about holding them to their own rules. And I can actually see this event potentially changing Twitter's rules. We could actually see the SGWs legitimately arguing for our case i.e. we want a freer, more open TOS where we can say more things 
and get away with more things that we otherwise wouldn't get away with. Because remember, if they're going to argue and complain about being held to those standards that they support, that they implemented, then why not? Why not try and get them to change it to do something a bit more freer? And again, there is nothing stopping Sargon or any anti sgw or any feminist from legitimately reporting legitimate harassing tweets. There is no rule book to say that you cannot do that and that that is authoritarian and that is removing someone's freedom of speech. It isn't. If you break the rules, you break the rules. You get banned, you get whatever. That's what happens. It's Twitter's rules, live with it. But anyway, I'm just some Brit on the internet. So if you want to uh, follow me on Twitter, please do. If you want to subscribe to me, please do. Smash that motherfucking like button. And also, please do donate to my Patreon, because I really need the monies right now. And also, I would really like you to make a comment, and also be creative with the uh, Sundom American jokes in my comment section, because she wants you to be creative, okay guys? Tell her how beautiful she is, tell her how her makeup looks nice and how her glasses really fit her face. Tell her that her dress or jumper, whatever it is, really fits her and really shows how nice her figure is because we've got to be creative, guys. Let's give her compliments. SDA, love you. Bye.